Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Kyle. Brandon Smith and Misty and I are all hanging out and we are making some curry. Veg is doing well. We're gonna grill some lettuce real quick. If you'll place those cut side down on the okay. grill, just face just down. Straight up, just, yeah, just, okay. just like that. Throw it on. We're gonna do another little sneaky trick. This is a sneaky chef trick from old bulgur wheat. If you have a gluten allergy, obviously do not use bulgur wheat. Bulgur wheat is wheat that has been parboiled dried and cracked, so it's already cooked. You can use it as a thickener. I'm going to use it in this to uh, thicken this up just a little bit. You can always leave your curry as thin or as thick as you like it. Uh, that, that's a preference. I'm just going to put a little bit in here, get it up to temperature. You'll see how it thickens. If you wouldn't mind grabbing those um, tongs over there, and then we'll get ready to flip this. Grilled hearts of romaine. You might have seen them around town. You might have eaten them someplace before. Easily the easiest salad you'll ever make with some of the best flavor you can have. You're just going to wait until you see they're charred. You can okay. pick them up and flick them or whatever. This is all you all day. You're cooking it however you want right. it. There you go. That looks so good. That's good. All right, I'll put it back on the back side, though. Okay. There you go. I got you. So on either side. Yep. Cook them on both sides. It's just a really nice way to make a salad that's good for you. So we call this puppy dog paws. You do it, ooh, you do it when you're cutting and also on a mandolin as you're getting close. Tuck your fingers in. You don't want to cut off the fingertips. Puppy dog paws. <laughs> I know, it's kind of silly. <laughs> so you can see here on some of these, we're getting a nice char on some of the butternut squash. It's warm, so oh. that's kind of where we want to be. Wow, that smells so good. We're going to take that and we're simply going to pour the curry on it. Mm. To the finish. It's always nice to have a sink next to you. Ooh, those colors are beautiful. It's all peas and healthy stuff. Nancy Farrell says at least half, preferably three quarters, at least half of your plate should be vegetables. So while you're making your food, take that into consideration. Even better if your entire plate is vegetables, which is what we're going to do nice. with the addition of rice. And that's done. Hey, that's M O O N done. I'm all in. All right, so we're looking for a char on both sides, right? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Oh, that's, that's looking beautiful, Brandon. So when you have rice in the fridge, you don't necessarily have to heat it up. You can just simply plate it, and the food itself will warm it up. I'm going to get a spoon real quick. And voila, a spoon appears. Voila, a spoon appears. Put a little bit of your black rice in there. Super sweet, super food. Look it up. Go Google it. All these things matter. Most everything that's purple like this is super healthy for you. Known as super foods. Really great antioxidants. You want to make sure. Break it up just a little bit. Now this recipe has a finish that I like, and we're going to do this just real quick. We're going to add some diced tomatoes, but we're not going to cook them too much. We're just going to open the can and throw them in. If you didn't notice the label on this, this does say cooking with Kyle uh, tomatoes. Because <laughs> 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 I like a really fresh, bright tomato. Notice all that bulgur wheat's really thickening this up now, right? All right if you're so doing canned, go ahead. When I finish these, do I just put them right there? there? All right, cool. Just set them there, and we'll serve it. You can serve it either way. You can chop it yourself so your uh, family doesn't have to cut it up. You can turn it oh, into. Oh, man, that smells good. Right? Turn it into whatever you want. If only my mom had started doing this when I was a little kid, it wouldn't have been so hard to get me to eat my vegetables. That's right. All you need to do for your children is add a little fire and a little bit of fun and they'll eat their vegetables. A little bit of fire. Iris, he's not insulting you, Iris. Not at all. <laughs> You're a wonderful woman, I'm sure. He, so he said multiple times. All right. Yes, he has. So there we go. A little bit of quick tomato at the end. And we're going to plate here shortly and then head on over to the table. Look at all those colors. I know. Beautiful.
you've got almost everything in the meals. rainbow. So and good. notice the volume that we've got going on. This allows you to make really quick meals that are healthy in a volume that you can put them in the refrigerator. Oh, I don't like leftovers. I can't help you with that. We do. We, we like good, quick food. Mitzi can come home for lunch. She can run through, grab some of the black rice, portion this back out onto the plate, and you're good. If you have roommates, like a lot of people do in college. I do. You'll be the hero. <laughs> yeah, I'll we'll be the, the hero. hero. When you but show now up. I'll be much and, more so the and hero. And the chicks dig it. And oh, the chicks, the chicks dig it. They, they like well, a man cool. who can cook, I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> so the, the next step is to plate it. I've kind of set the rice up to put it on there. We're going to lay the, the greens right next to mm -hmm. it, and then we'll be done. I'll see you at the table. So after just a few short minutes in the kitchen, we're now finally at the table. Somebody just got home. Somebody just ran through this recipe. And within 30 minutes, you're able to sit down with your friends and your family and enjoy the smell of vision around you. One of the things we like to do, you saw Missy trimming these, and the reason was I make a hot curry. And I like my curry hot, and then I like the cool side on the back side. So if you want to just pass these around, you can add these green zucchinis. Cool. Thanks. Uh, sure. To it. Bye. By hot curry, you're not just talking about temperature. You're talking about the spice a little bit. A little bit of the spice, a little bit of the heat. And this gives you that yin and the yang, the uh, black for the white, the, the, the added complement of what's going on with all the smoke off the lettuce, the spice in the curry, the sweetness of the rice, the coolness of the zucchini. You have a complete meal that will give you the ability to just sit and relax and enjoy. So once again, thank you so much for spending your afternoon or evening with Cooking with Kyle. We look forward to doing this again. Uh, I don't Indeed. know what else to do. Indeed. Uh, well, can, I know what we I'm going to do. Out? I'm going to put my napkin on my lap. Yeah. Can we, can we <laughs> do and it? I am going to dig in because this looks delicious. Look at this. So I have a sharp sharp knife for the hearts oh, of Oh, yeah, that was, a, that was a key point that we didn't point out was you want to make sure for this lettuce you have a steak knife and not a butter knife because it's not tough, but it is lettuce. And if you have a butter knife, you're going to have an entire show of how to throw the food all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Are you uh, accusing me? No, honey, no, not <laughs> at all. have been there, done that? <laughs> Come back next time, and I will show you how to make vegetables that aren't hot. Crazy idea, right? All right. All right. Oh, honey, this looks so good. So, you think Lynn would like it? I think she would. Maybe we yeah. should invite her to the next show. <laughs> Maybe Iris will come sometime. Oh, that would be really cool. She'd like that. That would be fun. It would be awesome. That would be a lot of fun. So, you know, you, you got to tell so, Lee what he missed, too, because uh, he was supposed to be here. Lee and Brianna. Oh, that's right. Lee and Brianna were supposed to be here tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. Oh, Lee, you can't believe Sorry, buddy. Sorry, man. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Brandon's getting a whole bag full of to-go boxes, too. Oh, man. <laughs> well, you know, they, they eat on campus. That's right. They eat on campus. I don't eat on campus.